Asian culture and heritage in San Diego today. Let's welcome Council Member Lee to say a few words for the students. Thank you, Jeff. Um, and thank you again as well to all of the volunteers and the folks who make uh, the work that ACA does here in San Diego possible. Um, I think we're all very much grateful for it. Um, thank you to the mayor as well. Um, I, I think we could perhaps suggest that uh, with these rare 100 year type of events, they're happening because we have a mayor that uh, knows how to handle them and we're lucky to have you in place to, um, to actually help shepherd the city through some challenging times. And these have been challenging times. Um, when you look at the last couple of years, I think I'll share a little bit maybe about my history. I think as the mayor shared, I'm only the fourth individual of Asian American descent uh, to serve um, in elected office within our city. Um, I'm only the second um, Chinese American to serve. Um, the first one, having been referenced earlier, is um, retired council member Tom Hong, who served on our city council back in 1963. And that is a very big gap. That's 50 years, really, before we saw other elected officials that came into office um, from the Asian American community. And I think there's a lot th to say about that in terms of our choices, in terms of being engaged, um, how we encourage others to utilize their talents and their services um, to the community. I will tell you that I actually never intended to run for political office. In fact, I think most folks don't wake up and, and think that that's something that they're going to be pursuing. A lot of my work within the community was specifically um, around service and around volunteerism, um, along with the Pacific Arts Movement and the San Diego Asian Film Festival. Um, in the last couple of years, we also helped to found the San Diego Asian Pacific Islander Coalition. And that was really a direct result of this 100-year pandemic. I think all of you in this room know that COVID-19 brought with it a lot more than just um, the concern about health and safety, but for a lot of Asian Americans, it brought about a reminder that for many of us here in this country, there's always a concern about racism, xenophobia, um, and hate. And that was more pronounced than ever, I think, during the years under COVID-19. And what that took was not just individuals in elected office, but folks within the community who had a desire to come together and ask, how can we work to actually better our community, to help educate folks who may not understand and have the compassion to understand, and to really ensure that we uplift those whose voices may not always be heard. I think many of you, um, some of you are certainly interning in an elected office, but many of you are working on projects that really will define what we as a country look like in the years ahead. Tackling challenges that we're facing every single day that uh, the mayor and myself may not have every solution for, but we need your minds, your efforts, and your effort to engage others to really come to the table. I ended up in elected office in part because of the work that we were doing in the community, but also because there were folks in the community who believed in what we could actually bring to office and who were willing to make that ask. And if there's any one thing that I would ask you to take away today, it's a reminder that your service is not just about running for office, it's not just about the projects that you're working on today, it's also about how you work to identify and lift, uplift other people who have an opportunity to serve. Not every single one of us individually is perfectly fit to solve every problem. But there are many folks around us who, when we get a chance to work together um, or to help uplift, can be part of the solution. And I think that's very much what um, has brought me to office, but it's what I hope to also share uh, in the years ahead. Um, whether you are here in San Diego currently or you're off college, returning to San Diego at some point in the future, giving back can come uh, in many forms. And I would, would say that when you are here, consider what organizations, what causes that really matter to you most, and just take a chance to be involved. And while you're at it, bring others to the table and ensure that they also have that voice. Um, I hope that I'm certainly just one of now a line of hopefully many Asian Americans that we'll see in office in the future, um, and for folks who would stay engaged within our community. So thank you for the work that you're doing. Thank you to ACA for helping to uplift um, all of your voices as young people. Um, we hope to see you um, now and into the future uh, involved here in San Diego. I'll take one last moment, perhaps, just to take a chance to thank our intern that was in our office, Alison. Uh, who I'm sure you'll hear about some of the conversations. Thank you, Alex, for being part of our team, and we look forward to